Awesome. Yeah, the last time we, we spoke at Comic Con, yeah, you was, had just introduced Michael Myers, yeah. which has been really successful. And I, did it hit? I'm not. I played. I play on the PS4, but I haven't yeah. played in a while. Okay, so, so did we release Michael it? Myers and the Doctor came to PS4? Okay, uh, I think a couple months ago. Or so. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. Leatherface was on Tuesday. Okay, so that, from PS4? Yeah. Okay, because it's already out on PC, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I thought so. So okay. it was about two weeks delay okay. before, between the PC and the PS4. Okay. And the next one, so. Awesome. That's a pretty big. That's a pretty big catch. For us, it was really, really cool. I mean, there are a few iconic killers out there. Right. Leatherface and Myers were top of our list since okay. day one, uh, and uh, we're very happy that we were able to do it justice. And okay. I think our animation team specifically yeah. did a bang up job. Yeah, I mean, he the looks way that character moves, he runs. And, yeah. yeah, he looks just like uh, King, the, the original uh, Leatherface. Yeah, he's kind of silly. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a big kid. Big oh yeah, He's a yeah. Scared kid. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, no, it's really nice to give a different sort of flavor because all the other killers tend to be monstrous and extremely right. like brutal yeah. and uh, upfront. Mm -hmm. And this guy's sort of just lumbering. Like, yeah. yeah, he's sort of <laughs> fumbling about. But still, still pretty vicious. No, he's, yeah, he's yeah. Dangerous. So a question: I was playing with a couple of people online, and they, I, you know, I asked them, "What do you think about Leatherface?" They're like, "Oh, he's." He seems cool, but he just seems, that's the hillbilly, like, that's where the hillbilly came from, which is obvious, like, he's definitely an inspiration for the hillbilly, right? Absolutely. So, like, what do you, how do you distinguish him from the hillbilly now that you've established the hillbilly? Well, the thing is, when we made the hillbilly, okay. we purposely decided to do things with that character that were wildly different from what Leatherface is. Okay. For instance, the whole power of the hillbilly is based around speed. Okay. He sprints, he goes super fast, and right. one thing that Leatherface does not do is run. run he fast, does not. Right. He's one of the rare ones who actually admires this run. Right, he either. really doesn't run. But he's always there. Right. So you just turn right. around and he's like, ah, he right. was there all along. Right. Leatherface is just slow, but he, he's just always there. He's unescapable. Right. And I think that what we did with his power is pretty much that. Okay. And, and in a sense, I mean, yes, the the... The chainsaw is a very iconic weapon to have, mm -hmm. but you know, so is a knife, and right. so is a, a cloth hand for the hag, and right, right. You know, things like that. There, there, there's a reason why these things are classic. Okay. The chainsaw is scary, the noise of it, the, the, the whole fact that it's such a, an absolute weapon. There's right. nothing you can do, you, know, you can parry a knife, maybe right. catch a sword, <laughs> and do it. but you can't, can't do anything, do anything with, with a chainsaw. chainsaw. Right. So for us, it was really important that we got something in, but the hillbilly was made, as I said, purposely so that it is very wildly different from what Leatherface stands for. Okay. It was in a way because we wanted to make sure we weren't infringing on it. Right. It was more of an homage. Right. But it also left room for someone like uh, Leatherface right. to come in afterwards. So did you like say to yourselves like, okay, let's say we had a dream character. Let's try not to make him make our character. It, it, him. it wasn't that thought out. Okay. To be fair. Okay. It was a little more chaotic than that, but the <laughs> idea was in there. And, and th there was always this desire for us mm -hmm. that when we made a new killer, let's say it's the race, okay. and we decide, we, we thought we would always make a few variations around that power. Okay. Like invisibility is really cool. There are different ways this power could have panned out. There right. are different ways we could have done this. Right. And when we started the game, we're like, every time we make a killer, also because production-wise, it would have been much smarter to do that. Right, but that's right, one of the right. first rules we broke. Right. We had three killers with very wildly different powers and we're right. like, okay, the next ones we're going to do our variations on this. We did the nurse. Right. It's like, got nothing to do I with anything. Hey, cheers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, we're, we broke the rule immediately. Right, so, right. Leatherface for us was also a way to come back to that idea of saying, 
we can go back to some of the powers we've made mm -hmm. and make a different version of it okay. and see if that pans out, if that is strong enough to stand on its own and okay. be interesting gameplay-wise and right. bring something to, to, to the community that they enjoy. Mm -hmm. And I think Leatherface showed that people you know, the people who wanted him because he's Leatherface, right. because they watched the right. movie, yeah. because they're old like me, and they, they, <laughs> they've seen it. They were super excited and they really got it. Mm -hmm. But the people who just wanted the gameplay mechanics, right. I think they also got their fill. Okay. Because okay. The, it's different enough right. from the hillbilly. Right. To, hillbilly is control of the whole map. Like you can be oh. everywhere to right. map, like in a second. <laughs> Right. Uh, uh, Leatherface is, if they are together, they will die. die together, That's right. all of them. Right. That's it. Split right. up. <laughs> so it's a completely different strategy and, okay. and for us it worked well. Okay, cool. Now another of your original characters I noticed was new because I had, like I said, I played but I, I missed out was um, the Huntress. Oh yeah. Which she, like I was watching someone play her, play that map and, and that character and I'm like, is there someone humming on that map? And then like, you know, there's like, yeah, you know, the stream is like, yeah, that's that's the killer. I'm like, that is awful. That is completely awful. I don't like that at all, but it's great. Yeah. So where where did she come from? Well, uh, she was, I mean, we always wanted to have a drone weapon. Okay. That was from the beginning, and that was one of the most asked things. Okay. And when we started kicking the idea around, uh, we went, we, we looked at different ways, and the thing is, one of the things we hadn't anticipated is a large part of our player base is Russian. Okay. Well, there's a lot of Russian people, a lot of Chinese people playing right. by daylight. Yeah. And so we decided to try to go and dig a little bit in their mythology and their folklore oh, okay. and their, their, what, you know, what scares them at night. Right. And so we went like a East European, uh, there's a little Polish Russian in there. Okay. And there, there are bits and pieces of legend. That song that she hung, uh -huh. uh, it's actually a Russian lullaby that most of our Russian players freaked out really? because they're like, this is what my mother <laughs> sang to me when I was a kid. Oh, man. So, it, you know, there, we didn't put the words in right, there, right, but, but it, the, melody the melody is yeah. enough that it's it's obvious to them and it came to pull at a really, you know, a vital string in there. Right, right. Uh, for us, when we do our own characters, it's important that we go and dig it in other places. Yeah. The same with the doctor. Right. Uh, I mean, he's. I don't like having him standing <laughs> behind me like this. Right. But, but the idea is that we want to go as wide as possible because there's such a rich world of things that freak people out. Okay. And uh, we're, we're, I mean, we've got enough material for a long time. Oh, but yeah. once in a while, we want to pepper in those iconic. <laughs> Characters, uh, whether it's survivors, even having Bill from Left 4 Dead, for right? Him, a huge deal. And Laurie Schrode on the Michael That's Myers it. map, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, especially now that they just talked about the reboot and Jamie Lee Curtis is coming back. Yeah, That's awesome. Like, we didn't know that, but right? Right. Now it's, That's really even more significant. They, they released that really nice picture yeah, of her. She's wearing the same outfit. Yeah. Like, it looked like the, one of your screenshots. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't have done it That's better. That's awesome. So do you? You? I'm, Sure, you can't talk about it. But I cannot I'm, talk about it. I'm sure you have other iconic IPs in, in mind for the game. I, can, I, can I offer a suggestion? Please, can tell I offer me what a suggestion? You would do. Okay. I haven't seen this character anywhere. And of all like, the horror movies, like I, I love like, Jason. Well, everybody's got But their I favorite. always loved them. I was never scared of them. There was one character that still freaks me out to the day and I own the movie and I can't watch it because it freaks me out. Candyman. I he creeps the he freaks me out. And I think him specifically because being from New York City and living in the Bronx, he was a he was a horror character based in an urban environment. All these other characters are like in the suburbs or out in the middle of nowhere, you know. You feel connected I mean, enough. Yeah. I, I you know I, I got it. But when I saw him, he like, creeped me out, especially me. yeah, because he was in a in you know burnt out you know yeah. urban buildings, and you know I lived in the hood, and you know at night you know you were told hurry up and get home before the lights go out, the street lights are on and stuff, and he to this day like I and I love the actor, yeah. and I he creeps me like I yeah, can't do watch it. 
I, I, and I've never seen him. Everybody, like yeah. everybody, loves him, but he's kind of forgotten that character. Well, I yeah. think he would be perfect for this game in an urban, in an urban uh, map. Okay. okay, I'll make a note of that. Please do. But Please we do, do, we do have a, a list of uh, our. Uh, of and I think he's, yeah, and like I said, he's someone you've never seen. I've never seen yeah. him anywhere outside of his own True. movies, you know? Yeah. So just, just throw that suggestion. All right. And if, and if it happens, credit. Of course. <laughs> very, very special thanks. Has anybody else suggested that character to you? Well, yeah, we, we yeah? have people. Okay. There's but. a few that keep coming back. Uh, okay. I, I just bumped into Chucky on my way here. <laughs> Okay. Also an interesting one. Wow, that would be weird having a little character, especially yeah. in first person. Yeah, like his, his like, feet. Yeah, you're just chasing people's ankles and stuff. That's it. I mean, it, the important but thing for us, climb. and that's why we are very, very uh, like we only have two of these killers, right? Right. Hours because we want to make sure that we don't dilute our own exactly. story too much. Exactly. Uh, and also, when we bring someone in, we want to make sure we 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 pay respect to what they stand for and how they, they should be and, and how they, they act. Right. So we we want to be we want to choose characters that would step into our world okay. in a way that would make sense. Right. Right. Uh, so what, what, you know, Dead by Daylight is not silly. Right. It's, right. It's, there are fun, funny almost elements to, to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pizza Dwight is sort of amusing, but even right. then. It is stuff that you could see that's sort of realistic, and I think that that's a big part of why it's still stressful and yeah. scary, and you can relate. Mm -hmm. So we, we want to be careful with who we go and get, and we want to okay. make sure also that when we bring them in, right. we can do it with respect, and we can show them the right way. Yeah. The Myers is a good example of you know his power really represent what Michael Myers is all about. Yeah. He's a stalker. He just stands there and watches right. you, and it's super creepy. Right. And that worked very well. And I think yeah, we yeah. did that with Leatherface too. Even Bill. I mean, Bill is the last one out. He's the one right. that will hold the door while right. everybody's while everybody getting out. Yeah. He's the guy who's half dead and still gets up <laughs> and finishes the job. I think we represent that right, right. pretty well. Awesome. Well, so, that's yeah, all. that's what's happening. I'm looking forward Next. to We'll do that again. Yes. Yes, definitely. Yes. Good. Congrats with everything. I'm so glad to much. see the game grow and grow. Yeah, it's grow. been good. And the console yeah. players that are coming in is I mean, really, really it, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see it's it. A different play style. Yeah. Very definitely. Yeah, but I, I enjoyed it. I, I told her, I was I like, I gotta, we got all of us to play, and like, it was a mess. <laughs> but I, it was I, I love that when we released him, because he wasn't there on console at first, we released right. him a little after, like a month after, right. and then we're post, like all the, on all the official forums, people saying, don't let him look at you. <laughs> But you shoot him. That's right, right. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Well, awesome. Like, oh, we know him now. Right, right. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Been having a good time. Okay. <laughs> But thank you again, as always. I love seeing pleasure. you guys. Where, what are you doing next? Where are you going next? Me, I'm going to TwitchCon at the end of the month. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Uh, no, that was, okay. Oh, she's gone. But uh, Gabrielle. Okay. Uh, and after that, I'm going to Shanghai. Uh, we play. It's an okay. uh, independent uh, games developer in China. It's oh, pretty okay. damn big. Awesome. And uh, they, they invited us. Well, they invited me to go and talk about the development of that. But they like, that should be awesome. pretty interesting. Congrats. My first visit to China. So. Wow. That should be wonderful. That should yeah. be very interesting. Awesome.